Run by Chip Powers again, but uh, oh no! <laughs> We're here. We are in LA after flying from New York. We've made it in one piece. I think people do that quite a lot though. We've eaten some incredible food thanks to your suggestions and we've met some amazing people who have just ridiculously brilliant stories. After the first week of being here, the biggest thing we've learned is hashtag lost and hungry is actually working. things about this tour is the challenges that we're being set along the way. Yeah, so as soon as we got to New York actually, we were set our first challenge by James. Previously I'm 24. We have our first <laughs> challenge. We have booked you an area of a very popular restaurant on Venice Beach. Your mission is to not only fill 40 seats of their private dining area, but also help them run their restaurant and serve our guests. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone will be rating you on your performance. Good evening, I'm Jamie. I'm going to be your host for this evening. I don't really know what I'm doing yet. I'm making it up as I go along. Mike will help you with some drinks and Barry will direct you to your table afterwards. I'm going to change the tag slightly because there's now a queue slightly. Yes. I'm going to take the people to the bar. Okay. You can stay here. Brilliant. So change the tags. Okay? Right. Yeah. Come with me. So, um, why don't I show you to the bar? Excellent. Come with me. We're not good at this yet. This tactic is not working very well. <laughs> Mike's talking I'm thinking, to people. I know, I'm thinking now we take them to their seats and bring them drinks. Would you mind showing people seats now and then I'll come around and take orders? So you want me to do your job? Yes. So the problem is so far is to people, which is what he does, he's good at it. Talk later. Serve drinks. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and Barry, thank you very much for coming along tonight uh, uh, to our Los Angeles Lost and Hungry Restaurant Challenge, where we are running the restaurant for the evening. Uh, so at the end of the night, we'll be asking uh, for you to rate us individually. And basically, if we don't do very well, the forfeit is that we have to clear up the whole restaurant. To high spirits and low expectations. <laughs> chin, chin. There's no control, left or right, turn it up or down. What we've got underneath is more coal. Just more or less coal, shovel it in underneath and let it burn through. So you've got to keep an eye on it. <laughs> I haven't done this for too long. If anything, I've got time on my hands. I'm beginning to learn all the tips and tricks of the rest of the a la carte menu that the boys are throwing together as well for the main restaurant. So I've just been to the kitchen and Ben is smiling. I know, Ben's doing really well and it's annoying me. We need to screw him over. <laughs> this is a set menu. Yeah. The restaurant have been making this menu for years. It's amazing. So they're doing all of Ben's work for him. He's just standing there, he's not doing anything. Why don't we say that someone here wants the Ben special? Tell, tell him that he's a food writer. Or tell them that they're a food blogger. Like, should I cast somebody to be you our food writer? Something. Perfect. What was your name again? Melissa. Melissa, right. We've told him that a journalist has come down especially for this, oh who's a uh, top food writer. We wonder if you could be that person, and if you wouldn't mind ordering off the menu, the oh Ben Special. A what? Blogger, Ooh. food blogger down. Um, they've been coming here for years. Cool. So they know the menu inside out, they know it's really good, but they've heard that you're working here. Right. And they want to see what you can do. Okay. So we need to get you doing something off menu, basically like a Ben Special quesadilla. Okay. That's fine. Is that what you like? Yes. Yeah, yeah. There's plenty, plenty of fresh stuff here. We can throw something together. 
We've made this one up with a little bit of the pico, some of the cheese, stripped up a little bit of the pork, so the uh, canita that we stripped up, it goes on the main a la carte menu. We've just adapted it and put it into here, fresh coriander, butter, clarified, and cook it for a couple of minutes on either side. So we've got something a bit special this evening. Okay. Yeah, so I just popped that in front of you. Some canitas pork. Okay. Uh, it's come from Salmon Creek Farm. So it's quite a local, it sounds odd, Salmon Creek with pork, but it's a nice local. They've sourced the pork from there for quite some time. Jack cheese, pico de gallo, um, coriander or cilantro, salt, pepper, and guac. Um, so enjoy it. Hi, sorry, Melissa's got some questions. Yeah, hi. Oh, yeah, yeah, I mean, so probably a la, a la minute, so it's just throwing together the ingredients we've already had cooking. The thing with pork, I mean, that's been slow cooked for several hours, so rather than make you wait, we thought we'd use some of the ingredients on hand to come up with some new flavour combinations. Uh, special. Uh, I did some long, slow out. Uh, basically, I used some of the ingredients from the a la carte menu and slapped them between two tortillas. <laughs> um. hey, you've done really well here, mate. Um, why don't I clear this up? Your mess, and you go back to serving the main course. I'll get the main course. I'll, I'll get the plan stuff in there. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Thank you so much. <laughs> that was fantastic. Can you see the sweat? I did. He was trailing down his face. I broke his heart. Like 45 minutes. <laughs> Can No? No, I can't. Damn. Hey, hey, mate. Hey, mate. Oh, hey. Get up. Look like you're working. That's what, that's what working is. <laughs> and for dessert, we've got some chocolate chip cookies, brown sugar, chocolate chip, and vanilla bean. Ladies and gentlemen. The end of the evening is upon us. We would love if you could rate us individually, which will then go on to say whether or not we have to wash up and clear up for the whole of the restaurant. Yo! Me and Rob here have had an excellent time. That's all I got. The results are in. I'm surprised, relieved to say that the guy's passed. Yeah! Yeah! Thank you. Thank you. However, however, Barry, you were below average. Yeah. Jay, can we cheer so loud we make everyone else in the restaurant jealous? Ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> <laughs> for some of you. I think though we should say a massive, massive thank you to the Canal Club and their sister restaurant James's Beach because without their help we couldn't have pulled it off and a big uh, bow down to Chef Michael who helped me out in the kitchen a lot. I also want to say, Melissa, I was a hero, hero and stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm coming to get you. No, she was <laughs> absolutely <laughs> lovely and she played the part incredibly. Don't hate her. And she, we, no, we, we had to convince her to do that, to yeah. play that role. She's like, I can't be mean to bed right now. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah, you can. Be really easy. Easy. These guys have got very used to it. Is a future actress. <laughs> Hashtag Lost and Hungry is actually happening. If you want to follow the entire story, then go to the website. Guys, ready? www.sortedfood.com forward slash blog. We still haven't got them. No, no. You can go there and follow the entire story as well as Snapchat, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, you name it, we're on it. Everything we're eating every day, there's a new post, there's amazing stuff on there, so yeah, check it out. You know what you can also get from there? What? Oh. Oh. Oh, I'm wearing one. Can you just a favour? Can you step out and say, James, can you come here? Oh, what? Just, oh. We, need, we need a proper month model. You two could look like this. That's what a real body looks like. There you go. Oh, yeah. He is no longer hung grumpy. This is great on me, doesn't it? <laughs> James, what other videos have been available this week? Oh, I can't believe you just asked me that. We had um, speedy prawn rice. Yeah, speedy, speedy supper. Speedy supper. And we also had um, dukkha. 
creating a breakfast for us. What was the breakfast about? It was like a croque madame muffin with ingredients we bought from Borough Market when they were here with us a few weeks back. Oh, not here with us. Here with us in London a few weeks back. Now yep. we need to do it. Yep. We need to sit closer to this thing. Ah. And, in case you missed it, or you don't live in America, we were on American television on the Today Show eating tacos. You might have seen on TV. Lots, man, <laughs> lots of tacos. <laughs> so yep. click down below and you can see us tasting the best of LA's tacos. And next week, the road trip from LA to San Fran. What are you pointing at? What are you pointing at? The description, you filthy animal.